Well, News 4 has teamed up with Colvin Cleaners once again to help keep children warm this winter with our Coats for Kids campaign. And we're collecting winter coats, hats, and scarves, and today we're hosting a live donation drive. News 4's Christy Kern is live at the market in the square with Tell Us How's It Gone, Christy. Don, Jackie, good evening. Uh, this We have about 15 minutes left until our live drive ends, but that does not mean people are stopping. We just saw people just uh, walk by just a couple of seconds ago and drop off another bag of uh, winter gear. So it's just incredible to see how how many people have come out so far today. Uh, I'm here now with Paul and Chris uh, Bellani from Colvin Cleaners. And I mean, I think just looking behind you guys, I think really just says it all because this is not all of the donations we have. We have another, another van full as well. What do you guys have to say about this today? Well, it's overwhelming. Absolutely. Um, we've never done this live drive before, so we never we didn't know what to expect. But um, I don't know how we could have expected anything better than this. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. You know, everything that we do, we're only as good as the community and the people that come together. I mean, from all of our sponsors, Allstate, Fidelis Care, Paula's Donuts, Ken Lloyd Fry from Fry Electric, Uniland Development. I mean, everyone came together. All the people we met today. It's just been a lot of fun. And we know that earlier um, you guys were estimating that uh, more than a thousand um, coats and winter items were donated, and clearly that we've surpassed that uh, tonight. Oh, ab absolutely. Um, our warehouse called us and told us there were like 1,300, almost 1,400 coats from this morning. I'm estimating we have at least double that, maybe triple. Wow. I mean, this this is what we've what we've got here tonight is absolutely incredible. Now, also, uh, you guys have donated 4,100 coats so far this season, and I know that some of those has also um, gone to people from Puerto Rico who have come to Western New York after Hurricane Maria. Um, talk about the significance of that and, and what it is to be able to do that for people. I, I just can't imagine, you know, having, you know, whatever it is you have in your home and all of a sudden within hours it's gone. And now you're displaced into another country. And being in the cold weather, it's pretty chilly out this evening and not having anything warm to wear. Um, and if we're able to you know, remedy that, I mean, it's a terrific feeling. Absolutely. It's an absolute ter terrific feeling. All right, Paul, Chris, thank you so much. Again, the live drive ends at 6.30 tonight, but if you're not able to get here by then, you can still drop off uh, your coats and other winter gear to Colvin Cleaners at any time. Uh, we're live in West Seneca, Christy Kern, News 4 at 6.